thought I'd do a little um, tutorial on how I do patterns for heads with just like patterns as for the foam like on the cheeks which is what I'm going to be doing as you can see it's mostly done already I'm doing video sorry <laughs> bye um, here's the eyebrows they're done already in the bridge and then the chin is done so all I have left is the cheeks and the back and that's it so um well, and the nose, of course, but I'm ordering that. Here's a piece of paper. It's not very big. It's about the size of the head. Um, I just use a small piece of paper, maybe larger if I need to, or a paper towel or something. Some kind of pattern-making material. So, um, how you do that is you basically lay it, lay it against, uh, kind of the point where it meets the muzzle and press it against it so you can see where the line is where the eye I drew and you can trace it right here so you know where the slit in the mouth is it'll be a moving jaw so you want that to stay open and then um, kind of make it round right out to here so um, I have to do that after the video so that I could actually use both hands because I'm videoing this with my phone. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the uh, canine base that I'm doing right now. All sides are even. The muzzle is um, made of three pieces of foam, one, two, three. And you start with kind of just one right here. But how I did it is I took three muzzle-shaped blocks and glued them together and then put another two on the sides, A and B, and then um, trimmed them to make it look more muzzle-y. As you can see, there's the pieces I glued on. And you can see where the three pieces of foam are because there's the lines there. I need to actually glue that a little bit because there's a slit there. It's not very smooth. And... Um, the chin, it's just kind of a chin shaped piece of foam and shaped and then kind of hollowed in the center where the tongue is going to lay. And um, the head, how you do that, is I showed it on my work page. I started with kind of a mask shape and you um, see there's this piece of foam that wraps all the way around to the other side and ignore the that line right there but it connects with the mask piece in front and then um, on the top it connects on the very very top and then it connects to the piece that you already wrapped around on the last one and then I put a couple of pieces here by the edge of the eyebrows before I put the eyebrows on and um, they're kind of tapered down squares and I trim them a bit so that they uh, lay flat and make it, it makes the head sort of circular not so like Frankenstein so that it doesn't um, it doesn't kind of stick out it makes your foam work more even when it comes to the eyes you can leave holes big enough to see out of. I'm going to actually trim them a bit, like from here out to about there. Not on the line. Never want to go on the line because you want to be able to either, if you're not doing follow me eyes, then you should leave some space there just so you can glue the eye down and then it won't move. You won't have to worry about having like space there because you can cover it. Um, but for me, I actually, uh, screw what I said before, I have to cut along the line for follow me eyes and um, so I can put the eyes in and they'll actually follow wherever you look. This is a husky head waiting for the nose, just ordered it, so it'll go here where that flat area is. Ignore the pants on my table. Um, 
so yeah that's it this is the inside it's uh here's the little mask shape you can clearly see it from the inside and um the chin i cut right there from the mask shape and so that i can stick my nose in there so imagine that this is your nose that's going in and you're like whoop and um so basically it fits in there comfortably it's a really really comfortable head base right now um there's no glue or anything irritating in the nose area it's plenty breathable because it's a moving jaw and um to make it moving jaw there's this little piece right here that I glued on to the mask shape that the part that I cut off and uh, it was a triangle shape and I kind of rounded it a bit and I glued about an inch and a half of the triangle shape to the uh, edge of that and um, that edge of the mask piece should be able to fit into its little space. I'm actually gonna be trimming that off because it's a pain and it makes the base kind of uneven and the jaw a little bit lopsided. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have a good head model for this unless I put it on, but I don't really feel like it anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll be making a video of how to trim foam once I'm done with this cheek. So, thank you for watching.